In this video, I would like to discuss the model question paper of plural perspectives, readings on gender, a textbook prescribed for the second semester English Common Course for BA, BSc, BCom programs of Kannu University. Look at the pattern of question paper. You have uh, one essay from first module. It carries eight marks from module one you will be asked two questions and it carries eight marks second question is also an essay question carrying eight marks this is from second module two options will be given you have to answer only one question so in the first two questions you will be asked two essays one from first module and another one from second module so the question number three you have paragraph questions there are six options and you have to answer only four questions. Each question carries four marks. Then the question number four, it's a short answer question from both modules. Each question carries one marks. So eight out of 12 short answer questions. The model question paper, question number one, write an essay on any one of the following. Question number one, gender is constructed through carefully crafted binaries and cultural stereotyping. Explain with reference to the poem and introduction. This question comes from the first chapter and introduction by Kamala Das. Question number two. Discuss the stereotypical image of a perfect mother as portrayed in movies. This is from the chapter Learning to be a Mother by Shashi Deshpande. These are the two questions from the module one. You have to answer only one question here. B. Write an essay on any one of the following. Question number three. To the downtrodden and oppressed people, mainstream history will appear as a pack of bitter and twisted lies. Discuss in connection with the poem Still I Rise. This is from the chapter Still I Rise by Maya Angelou. Question number four. The mechanization of power are clearly visible when we look at the kinds of structural violence unleashed at the trans people discuss this is from the chapter eighth chapter that is titled structural violence and the trans struggle for dignity now take a look at the question number c paragraph questions answer any four of the following in a paragraph each question number five describe the gradual transformation of kitchen racks this is from kitchen racks vijila charapad Question number six, what does Dakshayani Velai then mean when she says that the Constituent Assembly should have gone beyond framing a constitution? This is from Dakshayani Velai, then a biographical sketch. Question number seven, comment on the title, is this desirable? This is from the chapter, is this desirable by Lalitha Biga Andar. Question number eight, explain the lines, not knowing that I can walk on water. When I am drowning, this is from I Am Not That Woman by Kishwar Nahid. Question number nine In what ways do clothing signify social locations? This is from the chapter titled Clothing Matters Visiting the Mel Mundu Samaram in Kerala. Question number ten In rep representation of women in media, representation of women in media is a question from the chapter gender justice and the media now look at the short answer questions d answer any eight of the following in two or three sentences question number 11 what is wrong with sitting on walls and peeping through lace draped windows this is from the chapter an introduction by kamala das question number 12 not a hum these days explain this is from kitchen racks Question number 13, to which parties did Dakshani Vailayudin and her husband R. Vailayudin belong to? This is from Dakshani Vailayudin's chapter. Now, now question number 14, we have uh, number 14, what did Shashi Deshpande realize about a mother when she was a child? Learning to be a mother by Shashi Deshpande. Question number 15, what is Bernard Shaw's opinion about parenthood? This is also from the same chapter. Question number 16, what do shoulders falling like teardrops signify? Maya Angelou's poem, uh, Still I Rise. Question number 17, what does the phrase 
hearts of history shame represent this is also from the same chapter question number 18 what does the speaker imply when she says that a nation of captive minds cannot be free this is from i am not that woman by kishore nahid 19 what does the refrain i am not that woman signify this is also from the chapter i am not that woman question number 20 why do families disown trans people this is a question from structural violence and the trans struggle for dignity now question number 21 what was the judgment rule made by the supreme court on april 15 2014 this is from also the same chapter question number 22 what was the content of the royal proclamation of 1834 this is from the chapter clothing matters thank you now in my next video i'll try to give you the answers to these questions please do subscribe and watch my next video thank you